Hello everybody and welcome back to the magical land of not Valoran. So I've been thinking and looking at numbers, it seems like people actually like to see the nighttime stuff. And my only problem with doing the nighttime stuff and the daytime is it pushes the video close to 30 minutes. Which I don't know if people can stand me for 30 minutes, but that that's what things are suggesting right now. So So we're gonna try another one at the the you know the night and day cycle. As you saw earlier there, Kevin's still nice and secure in his prison. We're gonna get some more stone. Here's zombies around us or outside. Um oh. so what do we do? I guess is the question. Well, we need to go underground and get more ores. Although we need to fight zombies actually so we can get enough silver so our merchant will show up. And now zombies are invading our mine. What the hell, Kevin? I guess I can't really blame Kevin for that. It's not really Kevin's fault. We'll just throw down some torches right now, just so we have light. Just so we can get star. We'll swing our sword. This could turn very bad at any moment. Oh, we're good. Didn't realize there were three of them. So that puts us at 41 silver. No Isaac. No eyes yet, which is. Which is great. Eyes are hard to deal with. Being able to pick up arrows is wonderful. Oh god, it's coming right for us. <clears throat> Damn that bunny. It just did not want to die. That's the one advantage to your prison, Kevin, is you don't have to worry about zombies trying to murder you. That's something, Kevin, right? Right? That's a, that's a good thing, right? Make some more great bricks, I guess, while we wait. There we go. Let's 
some more iron. I call I call a bar. Oh yeah. A bit funny. So I'll stir fall over there. I kind of want to go for it, but like this lack of eyes is really worrying me. the one stone block oh my this night is not going well or at least we're killing bunnies but where all these bunnies keep coming from like what the hell bunnies anything in our mind Hearing stuff up there, but I really don't want to venture too far away from here. But we might have to. Still no eyes, which is worrisome. Another f buddy. And a zombie! Die, zombie! Stupid bunny. Oh, one of our trees grew. We are not doing too hot on zombies. Like, they're just not coming here. Maybe they hate us. Oh, we got a guardian, a guarding shackle, which is three defense. Hell yes. We also are up to 44 silver. But that's not what, how much we need. We're still short silver. I'll just think of some way to make this more aesthetically presentable than just torches on the ground. And then we got a star right to us. That's always good. Bunny! So yeah, this is what nighttime consists of for me, is me literally just going around murdering zombies. So we have 45 silver, silver, we're not quite there yet, we still need 5 more. Venturing a little bit away, why not? Uh, 
Oh no, I have... Oh god. The eyes really scare me just because they hit so damn hard. Got two more zombies here. Should be morning soon. What we need to watch out for is that eye. As long as we can keep that eye off ourselves, we're good. Come on, uh, we need the morning to to vanquish this night. Although I think we're gonna get enough copper for our fifty silver, so then we'll get our merchant. Yay! Gonna kill this zombie mostly because he can't go anywhere. Yeah, zombies really hate morning. So that puts us at yeah, 51 silver. That means our merchant's gonna move in. Exactly what we need it. Now, I can't remember why we stopped exploring over this way. Like, I I know we went over here and we didn't find Jack. And then we came back. But, I we, we stopped going over this way for some reason. I don't remember what it was. Because, yeah, we went over this, and we kept going for a little bit. Yeah, it was about here that we stopped. We were just like, no more. And I don't remember why we stopped. Was it because I just didn't want to have to go up, I guess? That wouldn't surprise me. Alright, let's keep exploring for a little bit, see what we find, and then we'll head back, and hopefully by that time our merchant will have arrived, and we can buy an anvil. Oh, this looks promising. A ton of cobwebs for one, which is something we need. Get a broken spear. Oh, that's lovely. Now, I don't know if people see what I see. But getting home from here is going to be uh, deadly, to say the least. If I'm to be quite honest, I do not feel very safe right now. You know, I see why I uh, I stopped um, 
I stopped going over this way though. Because there's pain and goddamn death. We are not supposed to be fighting these right now. <laughs> oh god. They won't stop chasing me. But Wilbur the Merchant arrived. Now if we can actually get home alive. Uh, it's still chasing me. Why won't they let up? Ugh. Oh god, that was scary. <laughs> I, I didn't expect to quite run into those just yet. Alright, so we can buy our anvil, which is nice. That was a poorly shot arrow. Hello, Wilba! So what can you hook us up with? You can hook up us, us up with an anvil for 50 silver? Oh yes! You can also have this broken spear, this pointy copper short sword, ah, uh, these shurikens. <clears throat> you can take these potions to. We'll keep that. Um, take this rotten chunk. Take this gel because we really don't need it. Take some acorns. Yeah, I think. I think we're good. Thank you for doing business, Mr. Wilbur. Alright, so what can we do to do to do? Well, we can make probably like one iron item, basically, and not armor either. I think what we're gonna make is an iron broadsword, which is sharp, so it does even more damage, which is great. Then we'll come over to Wilbur here, shop, and we'll sell him our wooden broadsword. That's fantastic. So, as I said, like this, this tiny little shack is temporary like it needs to be replaced because we're running out of inventory actually there's a lot of goddamn slimes Kevin's been quiet which is kind of worrying me um because it makes me feel like he's he's planning something all right so we're gonna Start digging more uh, downwards now. <clears throat> See if we can't find any nice ores. Another option we do have is going back to that cave over there to explore, but it goes down to deep underground really quickly. I'm normally not as much of a wussy as I have been, but like, I'm on hardcore and I've never actually played around on hardcore, so like, I'm afraid of just dying horribly. Alright. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Hopefully we'll run into more stone so I can get more gray brick and finally get rid of that little shack outside. It's 
dirt block. Nothing so far, just dirt. Just an overabundance of dirt. Lots and lots of dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. So yeah, dirt. Dig to dig in a hole. Just diggy diggy hole. Hmm. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna build a house out of the gray the gray bricks and upgrade Kevin's prison and stuff. But like to do that we're gonna need stone. Which we actually haven't found a lot of, surprisingly. Your water. I hope we don't run into water. God damn it, I hate water. So yeah, the new Terraria update should be coming soon. I am so totally toast my goats excited for it. Like, you've no idea. I'm probably gonna be playing friends with that and uploading that, and that should be hilarity. Put down another torch, and then keep digging. Diggy diggy dirt. We may have to just go over to the cave and go down to the deep underground. Like, we are not having any luck so far with anything. Well, isn't that just coincidental? We've actually run into the cave. Wait, what the fuck? Hold on. Huh. Well, sand is enemy for one. Found some stone. That's always a good thing. Bunnies! We're going to get the bunnies. I use an abundance of torches because I don't like it dark at all. It bothers me. Maybe Kevin's spawning the bunnies back at our house. That That's a terrifying notion that Kevin could spawn bunnies, because God knows what else he could spawn. I just, I don't know, I am still get Kevin on the mine, I'm still not convinced that he's secure. I'm actually a little bit worried he's gonna break out, but you never know. I'm, I'm hoping that's just paranoia. I 
And we're almost broken through. Now what I'm gonna do once we get over here is I'm going to fall in this hole for one. Silver ore. That is always a good thing. And we got our stone that we wanted too. We got like an overabundance of it. So that is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We definitely cannot make anything out of the silver just because we don't have enough of it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's a worm. This is why I didn't want to go down here. <laughs> ah. Alright, looks like the sun is getting ready to set, so I will... I will make my way back to my home after I deal with Slimy McSlime. Eh. So yeah, I will make my way back to my house and then I will catch you all during the night, I guess. So I'll see how views are. I mean, I'm not expecting a lot of views in general just because I'm still not that popular, but like... Seems like the night and day video got more views than just the day, so. I think I might do two episodes today as well, but I don't know. Don't hold me to that. Sure, you can have bottles, sir. So, yeah, the sun's about to set. Sitting at 15 silver. Never bad. All right, let's see how many gray. All silver bars too. We can get make two silver bars, and we can make. Oh, 19 gray bricks. We're getting there. Anyways, I will catch you all next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, dislike, it all helps. And I will see you later. See ya.